Hey y'all. Okay, today I'm gonna to be helping you with our speed practice problems. So we're gonna learn how to calculate speed. Remember that speed is distance divided by time. So that's our base formula for this. Okay, so let's look at our worksheet. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna fill in our triangle to help us with our math formulas. So S equals distance over time. So speed equals distance divided by time. So over here for our formulas, we have distance divided by time. Okay, so this Math triangle helps us figure out our formulas over here to rearrange it. So speed equals distance divided by time is this formula. Okay, if we're looking for distance, distance is speed times time. So speed times time. And if we're looking for time, it's distance over speed. Okay, so that's how this math triangle works. If it helps you, awesome. If it doesn't help you, then you have your formulas over here. Okay, so um, our variables and our units, we're gonna fill in over here. So the variable for speed is S and the units is either gonna be meters per second, miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Those are some of our basic units for speed. Okay, distance is D. We have meters as M. You can do miles. We can have kilometers. Time, the unit is T. This is usually in seconds, S, or hours. This can even be in minutes. Okay, so this top section of our worksheet is gonna help us answer the questions below. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna find on your worksheet is a practice example problem. Okay, so as we're reading through these, we want to highlight or circle the information that is needed out of the word problem. Okay, so example one says, find the speed of a horse that travels 50 meters in 10 seconds. So we need 50 meters, and we need 10 seconds, and these are all asking us to find the speed. Okay, so down here, this is already filled in for you. So 50 meters is our distance, 10 seconds is the time, and S is what we're looking for. So we have the question marks next to the S for speed. Okay, so we're gonna write down the numbers given from the problem and their units. So remember, units are very important. So we have meters and we have seconds here. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is look at what is given and decide which formula to use. Okay, so we're looking for speed. It's giving us distance and time. So we can come up here. We're looking for speed and it gives us distance and time. So we know we're gonna use our speed formula. Speed equals distance divided by time. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is show our work. So we're gonna plug in our numbers into our formula and write that here. So speed equals 50 meters divided by 10 seconds. So notice I kept the units because that's going to help me figure out the units for my answer. Okay, so the final step is find the answer with the units. So write the answer with the correct units. So 50 divided by 10. So remember, when we are putting this in the calculator, whatever is on top goes in first. So 50 divided by 10 gives us five, and then our units 
is coming from right here. So m divided by s, m divided by s meters per second. Okay. Okay, let's try another one together. Okay, question number one. A car travels 300 kilometers in six hours. What is the average speed of the car in kilometers per hour? So 300 kilometers, six hours. We're looking for the speed in kilometers per hour. So we're gonna take the information given to us in the formula and write it down. So kilometers is our distance. So 300 kilometers, six hours is our time. So six hours, we can abbreviate that. And speed is what we're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna use our formula, speed equals distance divided by time. Now we're gonna plug in the numbers into our formula. So we're still looking for speed. 300 is the distance, kilometers, divided by six hours. Okay, so remember, whatever is in the top goes in your calculator first. So 300 divided by six gives you 50. And the units is right here kilometers per hour. Okay, so questions two, three, four, and five are all gonna be done that exact same way looking for speed. Okay, flip to the second page, part two, and let's do some examples with finding the time. Okay, so we're gonna use a different formula to find the time. Okay, so we're gonna do this very similar. We're gonna read the sentence, highlight the important information, put the information here, work it out, and write down the answer. Okay, so the question says, find the time it takes a horse to travel 100 meters at a speed of 50 meters per second. So 100 meters is important. 50 meters per second, and of course, we're looking for the time. Okay, so step one, write down the numbers given to you in the problem with their units. So 100 meters, M is the abbreviation for meters here. Time is what we're looking for, and the speed is 25 meters per second, M slash S. Okay, so we're gonna look, what are we given and which formula do we need? So we're looking for time. So time is distance divided by speed. We're gonna write the formula here. Then we're gonna work it out, plug in the numbers. So 100 is the distance. The speed is 25 meters per second. And we're gonna do the math, 100 in the calculator first, divided by 25. That gives you four. Now, how did I know this is seconds for my units? So look over here, we have seconds. The M divided by M goes away and all we're left with is the seconds. So that's how we know that we have to have seconds as our units, okay? All right, let's try the next one together. Number six, a truck travels down a highway at a speed of 110 kilometers per hour. How long does the trip last if the truck covered 2,200 kilometers? So important information, 110 kilometers per hour. It says how long, that's our time. How long something takes is the time. The trip lasts if the truck covered 2,200 kilometers. Okay, so we found our important information. Now we're gonna write down the information given in our word problem. So the distance is 2,200 kilometers. Okay, so here's your units. Kilometers is a distance. This one says speed. 
kilometers per hour. So if I didn't know that kilometers per hour was a speed, it tells me here. So it's important to read and not just look for the numbers. So 110 kilometers per hour. And of course, we're looking for the time. So we're looking for time. Time is distance divided by speed. Next step, show your work. So we're going to take these numbers, plug it into our formula. So time is 2,200 kilometers divided by 110 kilometers per hour. So we're going to find our answer. So 2,200 into the calculator first divided by 110. Okay, so that gives you 20 hours. Now, where did this hours come from? Over here, that's the time that's given in our equate in our word problem. Okay, so kilometers divided by kilometers, that cancels out. All I'm left with is hours, so 20 hours. Okay, so seven is exactly the same as number six and that example. So try that one. And we're gonna do part three. All right, so y'all pause the video, work out the next one. And now let's do, all right, when you're ready, we'll do number part three together. Okay, so for part three, we're finding the distance. To find distance, we're going to multiply this time. So, so far, all we've done is divide to find the time and to find the speed. When we're finding distance, we need to multiply. Okay, but the steps are gonna stay the same. So we're gonna read the example number three. It says, find the distance a horse travels if it is running 30 miles per hour for two hours. So let's highlight what we need. It says find the distance a horse travels if it is running 30 miles per hour for two hours. So we're going to transfer this information over here to show our work. So it says step one, write down the numbers given from the problem and their units. So we're looking for distance. The time it took was two hours at 30 miles per hour. So with that information, we're gonna figure out which formula we need. So it's asking for distance, so we need our distance formula. Distance equals speed times time. We're gonna take this information, plug it into our formula and show our work. So two hours times 30 miles per hour This is the wrong answer. <laughs> so two hours times 30 miles per hour should be 60 miles. Okay, so how did I know that it's miles and not meters? I have to know what this stands for, miles per hour. Okay. Yeah, so remember, MPH is miles, not meters. Very important thing to know. Okay, let's look at number eight together. It says, at dinner, you got mad and threw your burrito at a speed of four meters per second. It flies for 18 seconds through the air. How much distance did the burrito cover? So let's highlight our important information. Four meters per second, 18 seconds. How much distance? Okay, so take this important information that's given to you in the word problem and write it down. So the time is 18 seconds. The speed is four meters per second and we're looking for the distance. So to find distance, we're gonna do speed times time. 
show our work. Distance is 18 seconds times four meters per second. Now we're gonna figure out our answer. 18 times four gives you 72. Now, what is it? 72 what? This is gonna be 72 meters M because of this right here, okay? Okay, so nine, 10, and 11 on your worksheet are just like that, okay? Multiplying, same formula. All right, y'all try that and comment, email me, whatever you need to do if you are not understanding this. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Thanks for learning how to do this. Bye.